Hello everyone, it's Matt Smith. Thank you so much for joining me on this video today. I really appreciate you stopping by. So today we are talking a little bit about the A-10 and its fantastic role as a close air support aircraft. Now, specifically, the media has been talking a little bit about what's going on for the future of this uh, close air support jet. And uh, I'd like to discuss kind of what's going on with that and the kind of different, uh, I guess inputs that have been given out from the media lately in regards to what's going on with it. Um, from my own personal opinion, this jet has actually helped me in my operational deployments to Afghanistan. So I will say from a personal standpoint that I am absolutely in love with this jet. It has done me proud. It has been an angel on my shoulders being on operational deployment in Afghanistan. Uh, and I will hands down say that I respect, hats off to, and uh, give my utmost Thanks to those who have served alongside uh, this incredible close air support uh, jet and for the fact that the pilots and the air crew that have kept this jet flying for as long as it has. Hats off to you, I salute you, thank you so much. As I said before, in Afghanistan this jet provided me with that safety, that comfort uh, and that suppression that we required when needed on the ground. Now, the US media has been uh, talking quite a bit about this jet lately in regards to what's going on with its future. It was interesting to come across an article recently that was saying about the A-10 was actually going to continue its service into 2027 to 2028. Now, many news outlets have been saying that, you know, last week I think it was, that the, the main battle was to keep the A-10 in service for a long future. Um, and that the final battle had been won to keep it going because a lot of high-end top brass do not want this jet to be there. Um, but really, that's not what's going to be happening, unfortunately. There's kind of some conflicting stories that are going on out there in the media, and it's got to be kind of difficult to try and grasp what is actually going on with this jet, because nothing has actually been set in stone. The A-10's future is pretty murky um, at the moment, really. It's not something that uh, has been set in stone. The United States Air Force um, has been trying their very best to rapidly draw down the A-10's fleet, um, and that's nothing new. We, we've heard this in the past. The fleet is trying to get taken off the table, and that's a sad fact for me. It's something that's personally, I find, shouldn't be happening. It has been slightly delayed, and there's been obviously a lot of people who want to keep this jet in service, me being one of them, and not my opinion matters, and never has mattered, and it will continue not to matter, especially in this video, and I'm sure most of you will agree. But uh, it's going to come down to a number of different things. First of all, we're coming up to the presidential election. Now, I do not want to talk politics. This is not what this is about. I have absolutely no interest in politics in regards to uh, military combat effectiveness because it's just a shit show and I'm not getting touching into it. But let's be honest here. The presidential election is coming up and is going to take a dramatic effect on what's going to happen to the future of this jet. For the most part, the United States Air Force really is not keen on keeping it in the flight service. The F-35 is their primary focus in regards to a close air support aircraft. Um, you know, it's the largely unproven F-35. It's not completely uh, tested thoroughly yet. There's a lot of things still going on with it, which is completely understandable. It's, you know, it's a lo long process. Uh, the F-35 is one of those eggs that I do not want to touch because I'll get burnt to death. Um, but the United States Air Force uh, Material Command is leaving itself in a position uh, to try and sustain the Air 10 A-10 fleet just in case it isn't sent to the Boneyard once and for all. There was some kind of as I said before, conflicting reports centered around um, an Aviation Week article, and it was uh, in regards to an interview with an Air Force Material Command head, uh, General Ellen Palowski. Uh, and in the interview, basically, she was saying that uh, they're trying to do their very best to get the A 10 still going in layman's terms, and that they have continued discussions to say that's what they want to do and they want to try and keep it going. The demand for the jet is obviously still there. A lot of top brass and senior officials still want it to fly, and that's really, really good news. So unfortunately, though, it, that's not quite the case. Um, if the A-10s were to you know, be taken out of service, it's going to, one, give a little bit more leeway for the F-35. You know, funding and focus can go more focused on the actual F-35 program instead of trying to continue maintaining this jet. Um, media outlets again have turned the statement into a gloating session. You know, they, they, it's kind of the battle of two sides. We've got the F-35 program and how much we want to focus on that. And then a lot of the, you know, hard, true, love, diehard fans for the A-10 are trying so hard to put kind of a which one is better. And I never like playing that game because I've been burnt in the past before. Check out some of my other videos. Um, but it's 
not looking great for the A10. Its odds of surviving aren't as great as we think they're going to be. Um, and it's not to the point where the aircraft's not endangered of being, you know, put on the chopping block, so to speak. Beyond um, the A-10's ability to do its job, the depots that run these particular jets have very small glimmers of hope. Uh, and it's for the long fact is, at the end of the day, there are those people who have very strong, passionate feelings about this jet. Clearly, it's operated very well in both Afghanistan, Iraq, uh, most military campaigns that have been out there in its service. And I'm sure there's a lot of generals, a lot of pilots that are going to hands down say this jet is capable of doing what it needs to do. I personally felt that this jet was doing exactly what we wanted it to do on the ground, which was providing fire support from long range to close range whenever we needed it. Uh, it was always on standby on station, uh, it was dropping in nice and low, and for the most part, uh, when we heard on the net that uh, we had A-10s on station, most of the time when we listened into the uh, Afghan National Police Network, and basically we can kind of listen into the radio chatter from the, uh, the insurgents at the time, they know what an A-10 sounds like, they know that infamous burp, okay, we know what it sounds like when the A-10 launches that beautiful uh, rotary cannon, okay. They actually knew it was coming, and most of the time they would be cease firing and run into the into the compounds or the hills, wherever else they need to be, because they knew that that aircraft was on station. To me, just the dominating effect that jet can have on the battlefield means a lot. I mean, it really does. Um, but in recent years, the Air Force has tried to justify retiring the A-10 in every way they possibly can. For the most part, they've kind of been just taking data and stating that it can't stand up to the F-35 fleet, uh, it's just not currently able to keep up with the F-35. Of course it's not. It's, look at the date of this aircraft when it was manufactured. At the end of the day though, I honestly feel that this jet still has a lot of potential. We have a lot of programs coming out lately in regards to military contracts that are getting upgrades, different system put in place to try and keep it up to the modern fleet. And I honestly think, again, this is something that this could potentially happen with. There's a lot of systems in the jet that could maybe be upgraded. I mean, I don't know enough about jets to be able to put my solid opinion on it. And yes, guys, feel free to burn me in the comment section below if we're talking about something that I not know 100% about. But it's nice to discuss something that personally, from my aspect, I want to try and keep in service. And that's why I'm talking about it. Um, another thing that they're trying to do is a fly-off. So a kind of a close air support competition, um, which is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, there was Arizona representative Martha McSally demanded uh, that there should be this kind of competition between the two very different but in reality quite complementary aircraft. Um, and even the United States Air Force top brass have kind of put the idea that the A-10 will be replaced with not just one but two aircraft, two new aircraft. Uh, I mean, we don't know how solid information that is. I mean, they put statements out all the time, but you've got to think about how much money that the Air Force needs to operate certain aircraft. And the A-10 itself is already paid and proven for. I mean, we already know that it's done its job and it's successful in doing so. So why don't we keep it going? And I'm not saying the F-35 is not going to do well. What I'm saying is, is I don't feel that the A-10 is come out of its um, service life. I honestly think it should be extended. Unfortunately though, the Air Force's tactical budget as it sits will be insolvent by 2021. Uh, even the Secretary of the Air Force has never really seen a proposal for the A-10 replacement plan uh, and said there was really no money for such ideas, even if there was uh, you know, some sort of idea or plan to put in place. So yes, once again, the media kind of ran wild with the story, um, and again, military bloggers alike have been given different kind of skepticism about whether or not the new airplane program could potentially take over the A-10 is actually going to happen. Um, so again, we're kind of just all over the place. We're not too sure what's going on. You know, the, the media kind of put out these statements of, well, this is going to happen with the A-10, this is going to happen with the A-10. Well, Look, when the United States Air Force top brass are telling you that they're not exactly 100% sure what's going on, it's very difficult to say, well, that is going to happen. You know, if a couple of generals say one thing and a couple of, I don't know, if, I can't remember the ranks of the United States Air Force, but, you know, Air Force Chief of Staff, I guess, or something like that, if they're going to give their opinion on something, that's very different to what is exactly going to happen. Let, let's be honest, it all really comes down to money. Money for procurement of new jets, money for maybe maintaining the current A-10 program. Uh, and I'm sure Congress will have something to do with this too. Politics will become in effect. You know, the F-35 has had so much funding, so much political momentum behind it that, again, it could just slaughter the A-10's future, which is kind of sad because it 
also makes me kind of feel like the United States Air Force is backstabbing the A-10 a little bit. I mean, it, it doesn't seem like to me it needs a retirement date. It's If it's working, it's doing its job, and it has been doing its job in Afghanistan, then, you know, I know we're not in Afghanistan much anymore. Uh, we're starting to withdraw and such, but the potential for this jet to still fly and to do its job is for sure there, in my personal opinion. Um, and I honestly think the Air Force is kind of letting letting the A-10 down a little bit, and all the people and service women and men that have put the effort into keeping this jet flying and to do what it needs to do. So, what I'd like to hear from you guys is what's your opinion on the A-10? What do you think about it? I mean, is it something that you feel is going to be you know, chopped on the chopping block in the near future, you know, the next two or three years or so? Or do you think it is going to get the upgrade? Do you think it's going to continue flying until the long future where I personally feel it rightly deserves to be? I mean, I'm sure if I spoke to 10 pilots of F-35s and 10 pilots of A-10s and said to them all, you know, which jet would you prefer in the sky? Well, I mean, it's going to be subjective to their own personal experience on the jet. Then They're not going to side towards something just because, you know, uh, they've been told by their government or, you know, top brass that it's better, they're going to choose the jet that works best for them. And I think with this whole, you know, close air support fly-off thing going on, it just makes no sense to me. And again, what do you guys think about that? I mean, you're comparing, it to me personally, apples to oranges. The jets are, you know, very different, but I guess have been, in some regards, been put into the same kind of flight role to be able to call in close air support. Uh, for me personally though, and as you all are quite aware of the A-10's firepower, you've got to love that cannon. I mean, it's just one of those weapon systems that is just puts you in awe when you see it firing those rounds into the floor. And I absolutely loved seeing that jet fly over the horizon to call in fire support onto compounds and to uh, insurgent positions in Afghanistan. It was just, honestly, the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. Now, I'm not saying that's a, you know, a reason to keep this jet flying, but for me personally, I saw firsthand how effective this fighting machine was in being able to complete the mission and do its job. So, please leave some comments, let me know what you think about it, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, do you think that this jet is going to keep rolling? Do you think it should be cut? Do you think that there should be a replacement aircraft put in place instead of the F-35 for the A-10? Let me hear about it, I want to hear your opinion. With that being said, I totally understand if you don't agree with what I've been saying, and yes, there may be a bit of personal bias there towards this particular aircraft, and that's fine, I get that. Um, I am allowed to have my opinion, and so are you, so please give me it in the comments section, let me hear all about it. Um, I am biased because I have had this aircraft serve beside me and alongside me in a combat environment, so I'm going to stick true to this aircraft and hope that it continue its service. Um, but yeah, let's discuss it in the comments. Let me know what you think. Give me your opinion. Let me know. Uh, I really, really appreciate you guys stopping by today and watching this video. Uh, please feel free to share around on social media and Facebook and such. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. And uh, if you did enjoy the video, guys, please uh, slap that like button. It would be really appreciated. And uh, all the best, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.